Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. Hope everyone can hear me well. Uh, as you mentioned, I'm Peter Smirnotis. I'm a director and managing partner of Victory Square Technologies. Uh, Victory Square CEO is actually here today. He's a gentleman in the back with wearing the HODL hat, but uh, he's nursing a bit of a rough throat, so I figured I'd take the stage and help him out. A little bit of information about us. We are a publicly traded company listed in Canada. We've been operating in the blockchain space for some time. Before I get into our presentation today, I'm just going to take a second to give a thanks to the team at Keynote who's been running these WBF events for some time. This is my fourth or fifth event, and uh, they always do a great job. And I just want us to give a round of applause for such a great job putting this together. All of them, thank you so much. And uh, with that, I'll just hit the ground. So this is one of the only existing photos of Vancouver with sun. For those of you who've been to the west coast of Canada, uh, we are occupied by 21 words for rain. It's how we roll, it's unfortunate. But it is a beautiful place to set up shop. Canada's a fantastic place to build businesses. It's a great place to interact with the world internationally. What I can share with you is that Victory Square has been operating for some time. And we've been in blockchain because we had an early profit introduce a concept to us, showcase what its impact would be as a thesis, and has become a guiding component of all our investments that we work on. Little picture uh, of Canada. Some of you may have not been there. What I'd like you to understand is, uh, you know, Take a good hard look. I'm sure many of you have heard of our fabled cannabis forests. Uh, fantastic for those investors wondering how to get in on cannabis. See me after this presentation. But uh, hockey's legit. It's what we're about. There are mountains in point of fact. Uh, also, my designer can sometimes be a bit of a bastard. So enjoy that. Some other things about Canada. We uh, have been pushing out a lot of interesting things in technology for some time. A lot of care about media, care about its impact. We're a place where things grow. And growth is a big part of our story. And growth is a big part of the conversation we're going to have today. We're here to talk about security and security coins. But before we can do that, there's a bit of a narrative. So Victory Square, as I shared, we work with entrepreneurs internationally. We work with them and source these, talent, these opportunities to bring people to Canada using startup visa programs. Canada is a fantastic place to come in and work. We have easily accessible capital. We're able to deploy it. We have living labs, places where we can connect early stage companies to capital, but more importantly, customers. If you've got blockchain in your thesis and you're looking to connect and you're looking to integrate your blockchain thesis into early stage customers to pioneer your technology, you should probably come have a conversation with us. We can make that happen. On top of that, it's our partners and our people. And let's be candid, it's always your partners and your people. Whatever it is you're doing, it's the people you work with that define the scope of your project. I love the team slides and photos. I love seeing those on websites. Your people are your business and we prioritize that in all our work collectively. In terms of entrepreneurs, for entrepreneurs in the room today, it's a great place to connect. Uh, the, our Steam host, Mo Levin, indicated you should talk to everyone. I think it's a great thing to do. Again, if you're looking to bait, look at your idea to get funded, you should have a conversation with us. Victory Square's got a booth downstairs. I'll be here for the duration of the conference. And finally, why do you want to talk to us? Well, we operate in equity and we operate in crypto. We're one of the few companies that does this actively and regularly and has a trace that you can see online. All our information is available for your perusal. Our company is publicly traded, so this data is available to you day or night. Victory Square is our parent company. Blockchain Assembly operates our crypto agency. Again, these two mechanisms allows us to be very creative in terms of how we support companies at scale. And crypto and security is what we're going to go into right now. So small pause. Uh, I hired a new designer, difference before the last one. This is Gen X. This is Millennials. It's going to get dark for a second, so just bear with me. So, a little food for thought. What I can share with you is we're looking today to discuss about the impacts of what security coins are going to do. We've been talking about it for 12 months. I've been listening to crowds, speakers, entrepreneurs, investors, crypto investors, capital markets professionals, private equity professionals, guest speakers, lecturers, anarchists, you name it. And the reality of the situation is it's time we all get shook hands and move into that future together. And the good news is there's a really easy way for us to do it because we're already in path, we're already in motion. So, had to think about, this designer's gotta go, but I had to think about extensively what it is that we're trying to achieve. And if you're gonna, if you're gonna come up on stage, you have to leave your audience with a little bit of something to think about that's meaningful and tangible. And what I would share with you is that I've given a fair bit of thought to this, and it's been framed by doing a lot of that. Anyone familiar with this? Getting on a plane, going to conferences, for those of you uh, who here is running an ICO currently by hands, can I see your hands come up? Nice and high. Great. 
Who here's invested in an ICO? Can I see your hands go up? There we go. Anyone here been traveling in the last 12 months to get involved in the crypto and blockchain space? Hands up. Yeah, this is very familiar for all of us. And this is good, because you got to go to where the conversations are. Telegram, Signal, Slack will only take you so far. You need to converse with the people in your ecosystem. You need to press flush. You need to say hello. You need to have these conversations to distill down what you're trying to achieve. We're a big fan of this quote. Great can come from anywhere. And by traveling extensively, you can connect with the people who are going to help you solve those problems. And the problems that we're trying to solve is conversing and bringing capital markets and the ICO world together in a way that is constructive, that provides tangible value to all of us. So I asked my designer to uh, show me a world full of great ideas, and she gave me a chandelier. So we're going to go with that. Um, what I can share with you is that there are so many interesting and great ideas that have emerged in the last 12 months. I remember about 18 months ago, I was hearing, and I'm sure we all did, of ICOs being funded, projects being capitalized on nothing but a thesis, a white paper, a kick-ass website, and a lot of momentum, and frothy, real frothy imagery, really frothy ideas. You know, that's great, but in 2018, things are getting real. Coinbase had their announcement recently, good for them, good for all of us. People have to start understanding that what we're trying to achieve involves integrating with existing regulatory bodies, and these great ideas are coming from all of us collectively. What does that look like? Well, it actually looks like this. We can continue to take the blue pill and continue to do what we're doing. Keep working on utility coins, keep working on utility coins that exclusively only solve problems that we think are different, that are transformative, that are disruptive unto themselves. Or we can take the red pill and we can start going the other way. We start integrating security coins into, the, into our ecosystem, into our ecology. Blockchain projects need capital. It's just what it is. And concurrently, cryptocurrencies are here to stay. That's absolutely going to happen. The, the divisibility of assets and the new asset class internationally, that's real. I mean, everyone here is aware of it. It's your, you're in New York City. We all know what's down the street. We all know what you know, Wall Street's around the corner. And they are very sincere in their efforts to want to get involved in this. They want to understand how this works. They want to find a way to play. By taking the red pill, we get to have that conversation now. So I think I can share with you, at least from my perspective, there is a winning formula to successfully launch a utility-based ICO. Um, you know, there's going to be some conversations around this. I'm sure you all have your own ideas around this. But fundamentally, if you're going to run a utility-based ICO, you need a game-changing theory. You need a theory that spawns something new, a new vector into the space that we're working in. You know, some good examples that I've heard recently. Uh, Mo actually shared this with me the other day. I like the language, so I'll just clone his, his piece. Ethereum is money with conditions. Bitcoin is Google Sheets and BitTorrent. These new vector ideas generate something that's significant that entices developers to want to get involved and build on those platforms. Right? You need the developer community to get involved. Concurrently, you need to bridge existing businesses, existing uh, ecosystems to want to come play on into the future. You can't go build the future alone. It won't work. You need to have other parties invested and align to your objectives. You know, the mystery of the security token and ICOs, it's been unlocked. It's actually, and it's happening. We're living in it right now. You know, regulation is the key. Regulation is a requirement. It's going to happen. It's not a matter of time. It's not a matter of patience. It's happening as we speak. We're living through it today. And this is great. This is fantastic. Um, anyone here own any stock? I saw, I heard this question earlier. Can I see hands up, stock? Anyone owned any stock? Anybody ever exercise a warrant and wait four weeks to get your money? Is that exhausting? It's just, it's just low-level stuff like that that's got to go. It's got to go, because it's time. And the reality of the situation is security tokens, just as a fundamental utility evolving and replacing shares as we know it, solve that problem out of the gate. It gets better. What's even better than that is that security tokens allow us to run ICOs and give Main Street a chance. It was very unfortunate. I was, uh, had the opportunity of living through last December and January, like most of you, saw that apex peak of capital and excitement hit, and I saw people get decimated by what happened. Heartbreaking stuff. Yo, bro, I just uh, took all my life savings, I bought Bitcoin at 17,000, going to the moon. And I was like, whew, I'm sure we know, anyone here know of anyone who, who got in right at the right time? It's tough, right? It's tough, you see that happen and you panic. 
you know, I want to make sure that when people get involved, when they, fund, when they get involved, if you're funding a project through an ICO, whether it's a security token, whether it's a game-changing utility token, it's got to be significant. You've got to do it correctly. You've got to incentivize the people to get involved, and you've got to care. If you care, if you care about your community, if you're involved, you're going to be successful. A little bit of wordy, but uh, I thought it was important to kind of put a bit of a mission statement up here. Take a second. I can read it out loud. But fundamentally, it's the all-encompassing divisibility of assets. We welcome the regulatory oversight that security tokens asset and new asset cloud pro class provide us. They give us protection and guidance for investors. The streamlining and accessing of capital and generating liquidity, all fast and efficient. This is the future I want to live in. I'm sure a lot of you want to join me. I mean, this, this is going to happen. Blockchain is a technology enablement platform, and regulated cryptocurrencies are the fabric layer governing our collective. That's it. This is happening. And this is good. We should all feel very good about this, because this is what we need. Normally, when you do a presentation and you're pitching an ICO, you have a mic drop moment. Uh, I don't have a mic to drop, so I figured I'd just throw that on stage. Right now, I look at my news, newsreader, Google, Flipboard, whatever you get your news source from. It's not uh, pretty out there. The world's cantankerous. It's breaking up. There's a lot of contention. There's a lot of issues. People are very frustrated. There's a lot of outrage culture. It's tough. It's really hard to see. And candidly, the internet that we're using today was pioneered in 1962. The internet as we know it was from 1962. Anybody have any technology from 1962 other than the internet that they're using today? Can I see a show of hands? Anybody? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, <laughs> and that's fine. It's totally OK. I'm, I'm grateful for what the internet did for us. The internet was the democratization of information. But blockchain, blockchain is a democratization of ownership. And this is good. I asked for an equation from the designer. She thought she'd spell it out. I literally said, spell out the equation. Uh, yeah, you've got to go with what you know. But the reality is the internet today is inertia plus momentum. But the internet of tomorrow, that's simple. All right? That's blockchain. That's cryptocurrency. That's what's happening. And we're living through it. By the end of this year, you're going to have regulated security coins on regulated exchanges with sovereign oversight. I can disclose to you in Canada, the Canadian Stock Exchange, the CSC, will be running the first security token ICO in Canada by, I believe, by October of 2018. We're excited about this. It's underpinned by battle-tested tech currently operating on exchanges today. And remember, building an exchange is great, but you've got to reconcile all that stuff. There's huge infrastructure that underpins that technology. And that's good. You want to make sure you're able to put your money in, get your money out, trade actively. This is a good thing for all of us. I saw this quote last week, and I, you know, thought that's a pretty significant number. You know, Mr. Novogratz has some strong opinions and feelings about this. I don't think he's wrong. But getting to $20 trillion, that's a, that's a big number. How are we going to do that? Well, ICOs for utility are not going to get us there on our own. It won't work. It's just not enough momentum currently, not enough big ideas yet, still missing pieces in the technology stack that have to be resolved. The good news is existing requirements in technology, existing requirements in capital and private equity can be solved with security exchanges, security tokens, security coins. And we should be happy about that. I want you to walk away today as you talk to companies today, as you talk amongst yourselves, to think about the implications of this. So now she's just trolling me. I said, <laughs> I was like, can we just get everybody in the car and head on down the road to that future? And uh, yeah, pretty good, right? But the reality is, you got to get in the car. Doors open. We've driven a little further down the road, but now we've got to get to a lot further down the road. And it's going to be great. Who, who, can, who can not see a future by the end of 2019 where we're, rock, we're seeing strong, validated utility coins on utility-based exchanges, security exchanges from sovereign states, backed by regulatory oversight at a national and international level, moving your money legally, effectively, funding your projects where it makes sense through ICOs and based on utility, the big ideas are not going to stop coming. This is a good thing, and we should be excited about it. I am. I'm really excited about it. This is my excited face. But security coins? Security coins are going to just streamline so much of what we're familiar with and give us a lot of feasibility and practicality in how we go through our day. Fundamentally, at our end at Victory Square, I'm fortunate enough to say that our team has been working in capital markets and in crypto markets for some time. We've got expertise and know-how and how to do this. 
And I can tell you candidly, we like ICOs. We like token generation events. We think equity is fine. There's plenty of ways to work in this capital markets together, to work in the crypto and equity markets together. This is what we're about. And again, you're welcome to come talk to me or any of our team. We're wearing shirts here on site for the next two days. Let us know if you have any questions. Outside of that, I want to thank you for giving me the time to speak with you today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your visit. Peter Smerniotis.